Assalamu alaikum dear friends. I am engineer Saifullah and you are watching Civil Engineer Side YouTube channel. So friends, today we will discuss three important topics. Sequence of work related to civil documentation related to a project quality documentation especially. That is some important test for the uh, civil field related to civil like earthwork and concrete. So guys, First, we will uh, discuss about documentation, like which kind of document will be prepared during the project or before the project and who will prepare those documents. Here we have uh, three uh, important uh, documents. One is method of statement, uh, I inspection and test plan, risk assessment. So guys, we have to prepare these three documents for each and every activity like uh, artwork, concreting, finishing and finishing paint work, uh, sealing work, gypsum board, whatever, how, whatever we have in the finishing we have to prepare these three documents for each and every activity. Now who will uh, prepare these three documents? First we have the document method of statement and method of statement we have to describe how we will execute the work as per quality and safety standard who will prepare it construction manager the construction manager or senior uh, site civil engineer will prepare the method of statement after completing method of statement the construction manager will send it to the safety department and the safety department will prepare risk assessment for that activity after completing risk assessment at method statement the qc engineer will review method of statement or qc manager will review method of statement and he will prepare itp inspection and, and test plan for that activities that how many inspection we have what will be the level of inspection and what will be the acceptance criteria for those inspection so method of statement will be prepared by construction manager Safety manager will prepare risk assessment and quality manager or senior quality engineer will prepare ITP inspection and test plan. Okay, so there is another document uh, quality management plan or project quality plan. Who will prepare this? This uh, plan will be prepared by quality assurance manager or corporate quality manager or quality assurance manager will prepare, will prepare the uh, project quality plan. Okay. So, <coughs> uh, these are the some uh, important documents for us. After that, we have risk register, register, daily progress report, weekly progress report. Risk register will be updated by the planning engineer or construction team. Daily report, weekly report, and monthly progress report will be prepared by the planning engineer. Okay. Or if you have any document or you want to ask a question about any document, you can ask me in the comment section. Okay, after the documentation, how we will execute our and what will be the sequence of work. So before starting the construction of any project, we have to conduct a geotechnical survey for that land or for that exist existing soil. In geotechnical survey, we will conduct different tests at the uh, at laboratory. We have to take some sample from that side and we have to test it in the laboratory where we will check yeah, CBR, maximum dry density, optimum moisture, uh, class or type of soil and on the basis of that due technical services, uh, survey we have to uh, go for the construction and, uh, and also the design that which kind of concrete will be used there like SRC concrete or uh, OPC concrete and many more. After that test when we are going to start like a building, building A. For a building A, what we will do? First, we have to do the excavation to reach the required level for the putting. So when we complete the excavation, a surveyor will come and he will check that area and he will prepare a survey report and he will check the level. After that, we have to replace some existing soil with the structural pill or sub-base material for to maximize the strength are to maximize the bearing capacity of that area. Now, from where we will bring the structural piece or sub-base material. We have different stockpiles in different areas. 
but we have to visit that stockpile or that area with the consultant and third, uh, third party laboratory guy we will take a sample from their soil and we will test that sample at laboratory uh, for the soil classification report where we will know about the uh, uh, maximum dry density optimum moisture class of soil and proctor value on the base of these result <coughs> sorry for the proctor we will you we will uh, conduct test at site depending like a fdt field density test now when you complete the excavation then you start replacing that area or that soil with the back pinning so you have to do the back pinning layer by layer thickness upon layer will be from 20 to 25 or in some projects till 30 centimeter and we have to compare that area that uh, layer after that to check the level we will ask the surveyor to check that area and prepare a survey report and we will ask the third party uh, uh, technician or laboratory technician to conduct fdt test field density test to check optimum moisture and maximum dry density and we will continue this process till when we reach to the required level when we reach the required level and we prepare a survey report the final survey report after that we will uh, spray anti termite spray for that area for the insects okay after that the every anti termite spray has a 48 hours so uh, during the 48 hours we have to lay the to minimum 250 micron polythene poly sheet on that area and we have to pour pcc concrete so when we are going to uh, we pour a PCC concrete, then we will go for the next stage of uh, steel installation. When we complete steel installation, we have to go for the inspection because steel installation is a whole point. After the acceptance of steel work, we will uh, install the form work. When form work is completed and survey report for the form work is completed, then we will go to order the concrete. So before the concrete, what we have to check? We have to uh, check the WRs for steel and form work is approved or not do the consultant have any comments about that or no survey report is done or not after that we will order concrete so when we order concrete we have to check the vibrators it's operating or not we have to check the ma the skilled masons and for men and whatever the required resources so when we or a site team order the concrete then we will invite the consultant and third party the consultant will witness the concrete and third party will do the quality test like which kind of test he will check the temperature of the concrete okay and the wish should be maximum 32 but nowadays 32 35 is uh, tolerable and he will check the uh, slump test to check the workability of concrete it is under the as per max design or not generally we have uh, from 75 to 125 mm but it depends on the max design okay so when all these tests is uh, going it will be it will be going outside and also we have to uh, monitor the concrete pouring and we have to check that the labors or anyone from the construction team shouldn't uh, add water inside because it's not allowed after completing the uh, concreting we have to check the curing minimum for seven days every day we have to uh, do the surveillance and check that the concrete is covered or not okay guys so till after the putting there will be columns beams slabs okay so when you complete the structure after that you have to go for the walls maybe the walls will be block work or uh, internal wall will be gypsum board walls so when you complete the walls after that you have to go for the finishing work finishing work we have like a block work plastering fenting and uh, ceiling suspended ceiling gypsum ceiling acoustic ceiling different kinds of ceiling we have now for each and each, each and every activity we have to create method statement itp and risk assessment because these are the most important documents for each and every activity so guys now if you have any question related to the documentation or sequence of work you can ask me in the comment section and i will try to answer your question there if i didn't I give you the answer then you can uh, reach me out to my social networks linkedin facebook and um, instagram links are given in the about section of the channel thank you so much for watching the video like it share it and uh, subscribe my channel thank you so much